Welcome back to the show. It's snack time. It is snack time. Uh, we are joined by the folks from Earls and People. I'll give you a warning. You'll want to pay attention. Yeah, you will. Or press record on the PVR because we have a $500 gift certificate to give away courtesy of Earls. We're joined by regional chef Phil Gallagher and also regional manager of Earls, Roy Commissati. Gentlemen, how are you? Hello, great. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming for, in. Oh, thanks for having uh, us. Maybe we should tease people a little bit more. Tell us about this experience that you guys are giving away today. Because Well, it's basically just a tasting menu. It's just a, an inside peek for people to see exactly how we construct our dishes. And, nice. uh, you know, it's kind of a an event over the course of an evening. And so, you yeah. say just, but it's for eight people. Yeah, no kidding. Which is awesome. Play and time. Chef, what are we preparing today? We're going to prepare a spicy seafood linguine. Sounds delicious. All right, where do we start? I know things are getting okay. hot over there. Yeah. So. First things first, we get the big prawn in the pan and start searing it off. There just a we tiny go. little yeah. thing. <laughs> I love that. Why that is the good. prawn Irish? I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> inappropriate at a time. <laughs> Uh, and uh, maybe you can tell us what you do, Phil, as a uh, regional chef. As a regional chef, uh, Roy and I are a team, and we travel to all the restaurants in the Lower Mainland to make sure that uh, we're executing at the highest level that we do expect whip to. crackers. Nice. That's a little bit. So yeah. <laughs> whip crackers. How many earls are there in, in sort of, uh, should we go Lower Mainland? or uh, Lower Mainland is about, uh, I think it ends up at about 20 if you get in, you include the interior. That's unbelievable, because I, yeah. I sort of remember the roots. I've been in the city long enough right. to, yeah. to sort of remember okay. the beginning. And, uh, but it really is, uh, it's that perfect meeting point of, of quality and accessibility, I think, for a lot of We'd people We'd like to well. think so. I mean, that's been our goal for the last 25 years. So. I yeah. thought you were going to say, Mike, it's the, que the, the perfect meeting of food and alcohol. Well, <laughs> that also, uh, I'm, I'm going to move out and we're okay. making, what are we what making? What are you making? You know what? I thought I'd keep it simple today and just let's just have a nice margarita. Yes, yes, yes. And you, know? you brought the good stuff. You've got the, the alfredo. Yeah, yeah. It's 100% uh, agave, so this is uh, as pure as it gets. Is this part of your usual uh, job description as regional manager? You got to know how to make well, a good margarita. You got to make people happy, <laughs> and that's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, Somewhat, yeah. You know, we'll let you mix that up, and why don't days, you catch us up days. on okay. uh, what's going on in the pan here? I just here. added a little Alaskan cod, and yes. I'm going to add some scallops and garlic to roast it all up. And, and really, you just have some nice hot oil. That's and, right. And uh, you added the garlic. And did you season it at all? I seasoned it with a little bit of a Haleam, Haleam sea salt. Nice. Yeah. And uh, what's and next? Then, well, then I add our uh, made from scratch uh, in every one of our restaurants a San Marzano uh, tomato sauce with a little bit of red chilies in there. Oh, so that's so got just, a little kick in it. Yeah, just a tiny bit, uh, so it's not overpowering. And the San Marzano tomatoes we obviously bring in from Italy, so they're Phil, a wonderful sauce. Phil, how important is that consistency? I mean, from restaurant to restaurant, to make sure that your staff is all, you know, just getting it just right how you guys want it. Well, we actually uh, we have a really good program where all of our head chefs are uh, Red Seal certified chefs as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a program we have in the progress, and uh, you know we, we they demand excellence as, and demand that of their cooks as well. So it's well, and this help. must be a real pleasure for for both you guys to see you know sort of staff coming through and, and really learning a, a trade and a skill and yeah. and really learning the business as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Well, that's how I started. I started washing dishes at Earls and really, and I got sponsored through and got my Red Seal about 15 years ago. So nice. that's how fantastic. old were you when you first started? 19. <laughs> that a boy. And the yeah. thing about Earl's is because it's been in the Lower Mainland and in Vancouver for so long, it seems like everybody has their favorite dish, uh, whether it's the warm potato salad somebody wants the recipe for, my favorite is a Caesar salad. Do you find that there's just things that you cannot take off oh, yeah. the menu? Oh, yeah. Yeah. When we try to move forward, yeah. Yeah. we sometimes have people who uh, get pretty seriously offended if we take their dish off. So oh, I would. Yeah. That Caesar salad's got to stay the same. Uh, if I could actually just uh, make sure that our regional manager is currently watching uh, the Earl's regional manager, pour me a drink. Yeah. I think that is, or Fiona a drink, I should probably no, say. No, actually. no, no, I think, I think you need to chill <laughs> I think out. this should be something that all regional managers need to do. And what did you put in there? What is uh, in the margarita today? Nice. You know what, it's tequila, triple sec, there's a little bit of water, a little bit of fresh squeezed lime juice, and some simple syrup. The oh, fresh you know what? Juice. That is just perfect. Though. Mm -hmm. It feels like summertime when you start doing <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, how often do you guys sort of reapproach the menu and, and change things up? Right? Well, you know what? We've uh, we've we're always working on the food menu, and we're always trying to do new things with it. And then with the with the bar, we just kind of redid our whole bar program. So we we changed, we stripped it right down. We changed everything to fresh squeeze. So. Like that lime juice, yeah. was, it's, it's fresh squeezed every morning, or the lemon juice is fresh squeezed every morning. I did morning. notice that the last time I was there. I can't remember what I had, but it was some sort of delicious blender drink. With Say, Fiona, was this during the hockey it. playoffs? It was <laughs> during the hockey, because you know what? You're, uh, Earl's is a great place for people to go watch sports, because oh, you do good. have the big Thank screens. Yeah. And to drink alcohol, apparently. Yeah, um, well, and yeah. what have we done in here? Well, I added, uh, what did I add? I added the... Um, 
the noodles, the tomato sauce. I, I, before that, I actually had a little bit of our white wine. Oh, and nice. uh, I brought along some pasta water, which is really a critical part of the dish because uh, when you're blanching the pasta in the morning, we, we keep the water and it's got all that starchy goodness and the salt, so it adds to, it makes the dish a lot more creamy. Does it, does it thicken the sauce a little it bit does, when you use yeah. the pasta water? Yeah, yeah. so I've heated these noodles up a little bit and then I'm gonna thick, heat them up the rest of the way in the sauce and then the starch will take to the sauce and it'll cling to it beautifully and it'll be perfect. And when you do it in the pan together with the sauce, it gives the pasta, it binds it to the pasta That's so you right. get the flavor on yep. it. exactly. All right, Delicious. gentlemen, down to brass tacks. Favorite dish? Right. Oh boy! Yeah, I know. This is a uh, tough one. Favorite dish. <laughs> uh, You're not allowed to say that one. That's <laughs> no. I, uh, I won't. What my what's my go-to dish? Probably the go-to. Yeah. Probably the Cajun chicken. Yeah, good. Man. good what about call. you, Mikey? Uh, I'm a burger guy, so I yeah, I'm always always Sweet exclusively because that to me is is the spoiling. Yeah. You know, like it's nothing that I would make myself at home. And when you go and you yeah. have a great burger, right? There's just mine Caesar salad, Cajun it. chicken on top, and you, chef. Uh, I'm, well, we have a brand new burger on the Bronx Burger, which was a uh, burger dangerous. loaded with uh, three onion rings, arugula, house-made uh, red pepper relish. It's wonderful. It's good. Only on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> the Bronx Burger. You can put the onion rings in the burger. It saves you a oh, yeah. step, really. Yeah, it exactly. really does. And while we're finishing this up, it's we're going to tell you for your chance to win a special chef's table mm -hmm. cer certificate. By the way, this is for eight of you to enjoy a tasting menu at Earl's valued about $500. Name the menu items we prepared today during this segment. And you can email your answer to urbanrush at shaw.ca and uh, well, you have the opportunity to have a great experience okay, and a great dinner with some friends. Okay. I brought you some shirts that I made last night. <laughs> Earl's girl? Oh, that's well, for Mike. No, and, and this no, one, and this wait. one's for you. Oh, Mike, this I is Mike, this is yours. <laughs> hey, you got now, one for me. What do you put on top here, Chef? A little bit of breadcrumbs that we roast in the oven every morning. Uh, it's a traditional Italian way to finish a seafood pasta. I didn't know Beautiful. that. Look at that. These Beautiful guys presentation. Yeah. There we go. So you can go to Earl's and have your favorite, but don't forget, I uh, hope you PVR'd it, and you can win a $500 gift certificate. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bronx thank you. Burger, watch out. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for what's right here.